Okay, hey guys, this will be a quick updated guide on how to use Archie Steam Farm, which is a card farming program for Steam. I also want to show you how to use the new ASF user interface, which makes creating the config files a little bit easier, um, at least if you're wanting a more visual experience. So first of all, you want to download the program. There's a link in the description below that will send you to this page. You want to click on Windows 64, uh, that's what most of you are going to be using, and go ahead and open that, it should be in your downloads folder. And you want to create an empty file on your, or empty folder on your desktop, go ahead and open the zip file, and you want to drag all of these contents into the empty folder that you created, and there we go, and now ASF has been extracted onto the desktop. And next we want to scroll down to where it shows the program. You want to right click it, create a new shortcut, and then let's go ahead and put that shortcut on our desktop. And in the future, we'll be using that to open uh, Archie Steam Farm. Next, we're going to want to open the web base config generator, which will create the config files which we need in order for the program to work. This will send you to a internet page right here. There's two links here at the top, um, and there's actually two different ways to set up the config files, but I'm going to be showing you how to use the user interface. So go ahead and click on ASF, toggle advanced settings, scroll down to IPC, click on the check mark, and then scroll all the way down and click download. This will download a simple uh, .json file. It's more of like just a simple text file. We're gonna go back to Archie Steam Farm, and we're gonna click on config, and we're gonna drag the new file we downloaded into the config folder. I'll go ahead and open this just so I can show you what's in here. Just a simple command that turns on IPC, which is what we're gonna be using in order to see the user interface. So going back, let's go ahead and click on our shortcut that we created earlier and open Archie Steam Farm. It'll open a command prompt here. You're gonna have to wait like 30 seconds for it to load. So below the purple text, you'll see starting IPC server. Once you have that enabled, you'll be able to open the user interface. So there's another link in the description below with a bunch of numbers. Go ahead and paste that into your internet browser and you should see something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and reload it. And here is the Archie Steam Farm user interface. You should also just click on this and drag it onto your desktop to create a shortcut that'll allow you to easily access the user interface in the future. So going down, you can see there's a bunch of different tabs on the side. The main one we're, that we're gonna be using is bots and we're going to create a new bot. Another thing I wanna show you guys real quick is there's a setting here to change it to dark mode, which I think is a little bit easier on the eyes. I really enjoy the dark mode theme and you can also change the colors of the theme as well. Okay, so go ahead and click on create new bot and you're gonna to wanna to fill out this form. You can name the bot whatever you like. I'm just gonna put bot one and then your Steam login, which is your username you use to sign into Steam. Then you're gonna to wanna to put your Steam password. So the program needs to sign into your account in order to start farming the cards. Then you wanna click on enabled. Make sure this is checkmarked, otherwise it won't work. And then scroll down, there's a couple more useful features here. At the very bottom, you can see online status and you can pick whatever one you want. If you leave it on online, while the bot is farming cards, it's gonna be like cycling through various games and on your activity. And then all of your Steam friends are gonna be able to see which games that the bot is farming. And they're gonna think you're playing all these various games when you're really not. So I like to just choose offline. This will make it seem like you are just normally online not playing anything while the program is farming, which I think is fantastic. But there's a bunch of other settings here as well. You can even change what it says on Steam. So if you wanted, to, uh, wanted it to say like, I'm farming cards, um, you can do that and then it'll show all your friends that you're uh, just farming cards. So that's fantastic, but uh, the online status is pretty important and I think it's a great feature. There's some other features as well. For example, if you decide to purchase a game on Steam and you're not sure if you want to like refund the game or not, you can uh, disable this idle refundable games and that way the program won't be farming cards on that particular game because if you farm the cards, it's gonna give you hours in the game and then you won't be able to refund it through the Steam refund process. So that's pretty much it. I do wanna go over it one more time and just to not confuse anyone. All you need to do is type in the name of the bot, your Steam login, your Steam password, click the check mark for enabled, and then scroll down onto the bottom here and change the online status. You can leave it to online if you want, but I prefer to have it offline. And then you want to go ahead and click on create. 
So after a couple of seconds, you'll see that it says bot1 here. And if we go back to the command prompt for ASF, you'll see that it's trying to log into your account. So now you want it to type in your two-factor authentication code from your mobile phone. And once you type in your two-factor authentication code right here, just press enter, and then Archie Steam Farm will start working. And if you go back to the web-based user interface, you'll see that your Steam icon should show up here, and it'll also show which game you are farming. So that is fantastic, and you can just leave this open, and it'll start running uh, in the background. And you'll also notice that on Steam, it says that I'm just online. It doesn't show that I'm playing any games, and that's because I set it to offline mode, which means um, it won't show what games are being farmed, which I think is fantastic. So at this point, you no longer need the user interface and Archie Steam Farm will run properly every time you open the command prompt, which is just by clicking on the shortcut. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and just show you what it looks like whenever I open it again. It'll quickly launch and then it'll sign into your account. You no longer have to use your two-factor authentication code. It'll just automatically start farming whatever cards are available. It also shows you how many cards you have left right here. It shows I have 264 cards. It'll take about five days to idle. Uh, if you're curious how long it takes to idle cards, it's basically like three to five hours per game. So it does take a considerable amount of time to uh, farm the cards, but you can leave this open and running in the background. It's very lightweight. It really doesn't take any of your computer's resources. So that's fantastic. Also, you can, if you have multiple accounts, you can actually set up multiple bots in order to farm cards on multiple accounts at the same time. And going back to the, um, to the web-based interfa interface here, all you have to do is create new bot, type in all the details for the new profile, and uh, just click create, and then there'll be a second bot listed here. And you can actually have as many Steam profiles as you want farming cards at the exact same time. So that's it for Archie Steam Farm. Hopefully this will help you um, get card drops and then you can sell the card drops on the Steam Marketplace, earn a little bit of money, or you can complete uh, the card sets to create badges and level up on Steam.